application errors. These are extremely common with the Windows 10 operating system. And if you own a Windows 10 PC, there's a pretty good chance that you've experienced one of these before. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we will be diving into some of the application errors I just mentioned and how to fix them. Now before we do that, I just want to take a second to remind everybody, please hit that like and subscribe down below the video if you have not already done that. That helps us out a lot. It helps us bring regular uh, content like we are now to the channel. And again, as I've said in the past, this content is purely there for you, everyone out there. So looking to bring you any sort of education you want, any knowledge base you want, and also, you know, just whatever topics we cover. But we are fully here for you out there as the users and anything you guys want to see or would like to uh, have me cover in the videos or show in the videos on how to do you know, things on the iPhone, tablet, computer, whatever, doesn't matter. Throw comments down below and hit that like and subscribe before you go because it helps us out a lot and it could help somebody else out a lot uh, by, by helping them see the video that you're watching today or another one of our videos that might be helpful to them, okay? So enough about that though. Let's talk about application issues. One of the most common issues you might run into while using an application is removing it. So you got it on your computer, you might not find it as easy to remove. So sometimes you might find it difficult to remove an application because of the way it was designed or because the files for the application, certain files have actually become corrupt, causing the uh, uninstallation process uh, to not complete successfully. Okay, that is very common. It's also possible that there could be other uh, dependencies or system service errors causing it to freeze up or cause it to not uninstall as we discussed before, right? So we know usually it's pretty easy to like go into our control panel, apps and features list or application list and our, our settings and just remove an app. But every now and then something gets on there, a software program gets onto our computer and we can't get it off. So Let's get into the troubleshooting for that in just a little bit, but first let's talk about another major issue. So uninstalling can be an issue. Opening an application can also be an issue. Okay, so let's, let's say you install an application on your computer that you really wanna use, but you can't get it open. Every time you try to open the application, it just freezes up, doesn't do anything. It looks like it's gonna open and then never does or doesn't do anything at all, right? Uh, this is also very common. So not able to remove applications, not able to open applications. Let's talk about how to fix some of these common issues. Those are like two of the most common ones out there, right? Can't open, can't uninstall. Run into those a lot, okay? So let's get to some general troubleshooting to help these issues. Uh, we'll start with the easy two fixes, right? Okay, so like these are the easiest two that you could do and it'd be very fast. One, make sure your application is up to date, right? So like we'll take Microsoft Word is a great example, right? So if we go to file at the top and we click on the options, inside of there we go fly file and then accounts down here by options i said options first but i meant accounts and go to update and update now not a lot of people know about that yeah you can actually update uh your microsoft office suite program so that's that's pretty cool so yes updates make sure your your system's updated right um we talk about that all the time not just your operating system but your applications as well so that would be you know all across the board everything's updated o operating system so windows is up to date and uh, your application is up to date. A lot of times, the, just those two things alone, making sure that your operating system for Windows is up to date and then the app is up to date is gonna fix the issue. Like literally, boom, that's it, just those two things. Uh, but that's not always the case, okay? So let's get into some other, uh, the, the other easy one, okay? The other easy one is just to reboot your computer. Now we talk about that a lot, so I'm not gonna get into that too much, okay? Um, if you need to look up how to reboot your computer, Windows 10, pretty easy. Go down to your start menu, power, reboot, okay? Talk about that a lot. That is another great one. So make sure you're up to date and reboot. Those are gonna be your two best friends. Very, very quick fixes. They work a lot. Okay, so now that we got the easy stuff out of the way, let's talk about the, the little bit more complicated stuff now, okay? We're gonna talk about the harder stuff, okay? But everybody can do this. You can do it at home. I promise you can, anybody can. So we're gonna use some of the built-in tools and troubleshooters that you might not have known were even in your computer, okay? So first, let's start with disk cleanup. Simply type in disk cleanup into your computer's search bar down on the taskbar, and it will show you the application uh, disk cleanup. Now it has an icon that looks like this, 
So make sure you got the right one. And you can uh, open this tool and then select options and use this tool to, to clear all sorts of temporary files and caches on your PC, okay? Now, temporary files and unnecessary items are always gonna be a go when you're using this tool. Like I said, they have a checklist for all the different things that you can remove or clean up on your computer to free up some space, okay? But uh, we always wanna make sure we at least do temporary files and unnecessary items because those temporary files, just clearing those out could actually help out uh, with some of these application errors that we talked about, right? All right, and then let's wrap it up with another one that not many people know about. A lot of people overlook this one. They, they might not even know it's there. Uh, I think a lot of people don't know this is there, in fact, because uh, I show a lot of people this, you know, working in IT, and, and every time I do, um, I get a surprise reaction. So I like this one. I saved it for last because I think it's the one that uh, not a lot of people know about so to, uh we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're going to use the built-in repair or reset tool inside of your application settings in your computer okay so now to get to this i recommend you just right click on your windows start menu okay and then on the uh, menu that pops up you'll have an option that says apps and features or installed apps on windows 11. now once you're inside this menu we can search our app list and select that application that was actually giving us trouble, okay? Now from advanced options in here, in the advanced option menu, after we click advanced option, we can do things like reset the app or even repair it straight from here. Look at that, they have built-in repair tools and, and resets. Now I do wanna note, uh, if you do a reset, it's probably gonna wipe a lot of your data. So make sure you have a backup of whatever application data you had on, uh, you know, with this, with that application before you do the reset. But the repair is usually pretty safe to run. So run the repair, back up your data and run the reset if need. And that will honestly fix a lot of issues. So uh, I hope one of those four troubleshooter, uh, tr troubleshooting tips that I went over helps you today. Uh, let's see, we had reboots. We had making sure that the system and the software is up to date that you're using. Uh, we have disk cleanup tool, which is great for removing temporary files on your computer or other caches that could be causing uh, the issue with the application. And then we have the actual built-in Windows troubleshooting repair and reset tool uh, from inside the application settings that not a lot of people know about. So I hope one of the four fixes your issue, okay? But if it didn't, feel free to reach out to us. Our number is always at the beginning and the end of the video and down in the description, okay? Thank you everyone and I'll see you on the next one.